Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another meal plan and grocery haul video. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you this big Walmart haul that I got, and also going to share with you my meal plan for the week for my husband and I. If you're new here, welcome, my name is Christy. I'm currently following the WW Blue program, but I do provide the points for all three programs on my channel, and I will also link you to any recipes that I refer to. So let me start by saying, if you all like these type of videos, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button. So let's get right started. I'm going to start with the grocery haul like I've been doing and then I'll move into the meal plan. As I mentioned last week, our local Aldi's is closed down. They're having a makeover done, so they're still closed. So we went to Walmart and I spent $217. A little higher than I like to do for my budget, but I did get some extra things that will also go for next week as well. So start here with the bread. I got Thomas's English muffins. These are the high fiber ones and those are three points each. And then I got the Nature's Own, this is the bread I use, Nature's Own Sugar-Free Life, 100% whole grain. That's one point for one slice, two points for two slices. So most of these are all zero point fruits and vegetables. If you're on green, I know sometimes there's some that are points, but I think all these are all zero. So I got green onions, green peppers, a red pepper, a bunch of red, orange, and yellow. No, I guess there's no yellow, just red and orange peppers. Got some mini cucumbers. We love having these in the Olive Garden light Italian dressing, which they did have, so I got some of that. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, but we just cut these up and put the dressing in them, and that's our that's what we have for a side. In fact, that's what we're having tonight. My husband's gonna barbecue some chicken on the grill, and we're gonna have those tonight. I also got some cauliflower and a bag of potatoes. I think potatoes pretty much come out to one point for one ounce. Some bird food for my bird. I got some gala apples, I got some broccoli, some green beans, mandarin oranges, I got these last week and they were so good, I loved having those for a snack at night, some asparagus, some carrots, Brussels sprouts, blueberries, and raspberries. And I think that's it for the fruits and vegetables, yes. All right, then moving on, I needed a bunch of spices this week, and so I needed some vanilla, so I got some vanilla extract, and then I went ahead and got some more cake batter extract, because I really wasn't sure how much of this I had. Uh, let's see, I needed some sage, parsley, garlic salt, garlic powder, chili powder, oregano leaves, and what's this one? Oh, and then some Montreal chicken seasoning. Uh, we're going to have that on our chicken. Then got some pickles. These are the Snackums pickles. The, they're like the little tiny ones. And then I got some unsweetened applesauce. And then back there I've got some Trop 50 orange juice. That is three points for one cup. Or you can actually have half a cup for one point. And then our creamer that we use, the Coffee Mate French Vanilla Sugar Free. And for this one... You can have 49 milliliters is one point, or you can have 82 for two points. So I always have two cups of coffee, so what I usually do is just split that 82, so I usually try and aim for about 40 milliliters in each cup. And let's see if you can tell what I'm having for lunch prep this week by these next items. I got a couple of things of cannellini beans, some Rotel, diced tomatoes and green chilies, some tomato sauce, some light red kidney beans, and some crushed tomatoes. So who's guessing what I'm making this week? Back here, I got some light and fit Greek strawberry cheesecake yogurt. Those are two points for each cup, and I'm gonna be, have, I haven't had those in a while. I used to get these for like snacks, but we thought with what I'm making for breakfast this week, we thought those would go really good, so. I'm excited to have breakfast. I'm excited to share with you in a few minutes what we plan on having for breakfast this week. And then, like I said, they did have the light Italian Olive Garden dressing, which I have not been able to find this lately, so I got two of those. And I thought I put the points on that, yeah. So for this kind, you can have three quarters of a tablespoon for zero points, or you can have two and a half tablespoons for one point. And then I needed some breadcrumbs. Those are four points for a quarter of a cup. Got my husband some peanuts, five points for one ounce. I got some Cool Whip. You can have up to three and a half tablespoons for one point. This is the sugar-free. They didn't have fat-free there. And I'm gonna probably be using that for the breakfast as well. Breakfast is sounding like dessert. <laughs> 
Uh, I got some of the garden vegetable ready rice. So normally I use the wild, it's called, I, th I forget what it's called, like wild, wild and brown or something. But this is all they had last week and we really like this kind. So this comes out to six points for a cup or three points for half a cup. I got a few of those. I got some more spray butter. This is the parquet. I prefer the, I can't believe it's not butter, but there's such a big price difference. This kind is like $2 for a bottle, and I think the, I can't believe it's not butter, is like three fifty or something. So I just got this kind for today. Got some coffee stirs, some cheap, more brick cheese. My husband literally eats this every night. He probably has like two ounces every night. So if you're new to my channel, my husband has lost about 70 pounds and he is maintaining. So he kind of can really add back a lot. He gets a lot of activity in a day. So he's able to eat quite a bit more than I am. But I do like this cheese. This is really, really good cheese. So sometimes if I have the points at the end of the day, I'll just have some of this. That is four points for one ounce. And then I got some Sargento Ultra Thin Provolone. This is one point for one slice, three points for two slices, or four points for three slices. And now we'll move on to the meat. I got some pork chops. So normally I get my pork chops. I usually buy a great big pork loin at Sam's Club and I cut my own pork chops out of it. But we have not been to Sam's Club for a big haul like that in a while. And I really, I was all out of pork chops and I really wanted to do pork chops. So I got these. They're not too bad. $5.64. And this is uh, a little over a pound. So that's not too bad price. And these are three points for three ounces. I also got some salmon, which normally I don't get salmon from Walmart, but it didn't look too bad this time, and it claims it's responsibly farm-raised, so I went ahead and got it. And if you are on green, that, I think with salmon, it depends if it's cooked or, I tried looking it up for you on green, and it says for cooked, you can have three ounces for four points, and for raw, uh, six points for four ounces, so... I'm not sure the difference. I'm on blue, so zero for blue and purple. Ground turkey breast, zero on blue and purple. One point for four ounces on green. Some of the extra lean ground beef, and that is, I think three, I can't read my writing. It's fading off there. Three points for four ounces. And then we got some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I prefer the chicken breast tenderloins or chicken breast, but my husband really likes the thighs. So usually what we do is we we combine them. I have already have a bag of the tenderloins in the fridge, so when he makes this tonight, I'll have him put me on some chicken breast tenderloins so that mine's zero. These scan out to three points for four ounces. And then my husband wanted <laughs> these little pizzas, and he can keep them because these are like little mini deep dish pizzas. 15 points for one pizza. Let me show you this box. This is the size of the box. So let me see if I can show you show it to you with my hand. So that's there's four of them in this box. 15 points for each one. So I I'll pass on those. And then I got some suddenly salad and you know what? I cannot even remember. I didn't even scan this one. I forgot to scan this. This is a ranch and bacon kind. They have all different kinds of this. And I, I like to make these once in a while. Uh, we'll have it, you know, with like burgers or tonight we're going to have it with the chicken. And this is not too bad in points. If you make it, this kind is the kind that you make with mayonnaise, I believe. Yeah. So I always just use a half a cup of ma light mayonnaise. But I think it's like six points per serving or something like that. What you put in it is going to change the points. So depending on what you use for mayonnaise will change your points. Okay, I just scanned these and they come out to five points for a half a cup. So a little bit higher than I care for sides, but on the weekends is usually when I use my weeklies. So that's when I usually have these is on the weekends. And then my husband needed some more Chex Mix. Those are four points for half a cup. And we stocked up on our puddings. Yes, I know, every week you see a bunch of pudding on my haul. That's because I pretty much have one of these every single night. My husband usually has two when he has them. So yes, we go through these. And then back there I also got some Diet Coke. And also my husband got some G0. This is the Gatorade G0. These are zero points and he absolutely loves these ones. So he got, we got a couple of those. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> 
<laughs> all right so that's it for my big haul so i guess i mean i did get quite a lot for just a little over 200 dollars. so i guess it really wasn't too bad so now let me move on to the meal plan show you what i'm planning for meal prep for breakfast and lunch and what i'm going to be doing for dinners all right everyone so here is my meal plan for the week and I've had a couple questions about this binder. I'm going to try to put a video together to show you how I have this binder organized. But real quick, just to kind of show you, just real quick, basically what I do is my meal plans and my grocery list and everything I keep up front. And these meal planners I have on my website, I'll put a link down below. You can go out there, they're free, you can print them. There's a couple meal plans, a grocery list, a to-do list and something else i can't remember what but they're free printables so basically what i do is i just print out a new one of these and i use these sheet protectors i keep blank ones at the end and they're just sheet protectors and that's what i keep all my recipes in so if they're not my recipe like this one i'm just putting together for this week so i don't even have that one into recipe form i just printed the original one from the website these ones like this are mine so then what i do is <laughs> I used to have this in alphabetical order with all these recipes, but it's kind of gotten moved because what I do is any of the recipes that I'm going to be having this week, I move to the front. So that way I have my meal plan, my breakfast, my lunch, and then all my dinners are all next to each other. So that's basically the short version of my meal plan binder. It's just a very cheap, <laughs> doesn't even have a label, plain black binder and someday I'll make it a little prettier, but for now that's what I'm using. So let me share with you what I have on the menu this week because I'm super excited this week. I found a recipe, like I was just showing you here, that was on sparkpeople.com and I took it and tweaked it. But this is apple crisp. So I'm gonna make an apple crisp for breakfast this week and I'm so excited about this. I think I've got it down to three points, and actually it's three points on blue and green and zero on purple. Uh, I'm going to take out, they call for butter, I'm going to use unsweetened up applesauce instead. So that's going to be three points, and then I'm going to top some top it with Cool Whip. And then the yogurt you saw in my grocery haul, the strawberry cheesecake yogurt, that is going to be with it as well. So I'm not sure if I'm going to put the apple crisp like over the yogurt or... How I'm going to do that. Maybe I'll just have the yogurt on the side. So it's going to end up being probably a six point breakfast. It depends how much. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to use the Cool Whip. I'll have to decide. The yogurt might be enough and it'll just be five points. So we'll see what I do. Plus I have berries that I can put on it as well. And then I'll have my coffee for two points. I have two cups of coffee every morning and I use the creamer that I showed you in the grocery haul. And then I just use two packets of Splenda in each cup. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that's what I'm going to be having for breakfast prep. So if you're new to my channel, I do breakfast prep and lunch prep usually for three days for my husband and I. And then Thursday and Friday, we usually do something else. And sometimes one of those breakfasts or lunches will get bumped a day. So that's why I don't like to do more than three. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is the apple crisp. Then Thursday, I'm just going to do some fiber one cereal for two points. Unsweetened almond milk for, z unsweetened almond milk for zero. I can't talk today. And then Friday, probably just do a Greek yogurt with fruit for two points. For lunch this week, we had our first cold front come through. Now, granted, it's not re didn't really stay. So it's not quite chilly weather here in Florida. But I know it is many other places, and I am dying for chili. So I usually do my chili after the first cold front, so that's what I'm doing. My chili does have a little bit, little bit of a bite, though, but there's different things you can do to kind of tame down the heat on it. So that's two points for blue and purple and four points for green, but I have a plus sign. That's because that two points is for one cup of the chili. So depending if I have two, I'll probably have two cups of the chili for four points and then I may do like sour cream or cheese or something on top of it. So really not sure. So that's why I put two plus on that. So that's going to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, I'll probably do a turkey and cheese wrap, and same with Friday. Just something easy, probably about three points. And also, this is my meal plan. There's a lot of things that could change come Sunday when I do meal prep or throughout the week. Things can kind of change, but this is basically the plan that I have. This is how I plan it. Then for dinners this week, uh, I've mentioned before, Monday is salmon night, and I pretty much kind of 
rotate four different salmon. So now we're back to the basil parmesan salmon. So that's going to be two points on blue and purple. And it's about nine points on green. Depends on how much you have of the salmon and what type of salmon you use. And then I'm just going to do the 90 second ready rice with that for three points. And asparagus for zero. I'm not sure if I'm going to have broccoli with that too. I like to have broccoli and asparagus. I'm not a lover of asparagus. My husband loves it, but I don't. But I do know that it has a lot of health benefits, so I do try and eat a little bit of it. Tuesday night, I'm going to do slow cooker honey mustard pork chops with red potatoes and green beans. That is actually kind of a freezer meal too, so I'm not sure if I may, instead of doing the normal way that I do my dinner kits, I might go ahead and do a make that into a freezer meal. I'll see how I am with my time on meal prep. That comes out to 10 points on blue and green and 7 points on purple. Wednesday night, I'm just going to do roasted turkey, mashed potatoes, and ranch cauliflower. The roasted turkey is zero on blue and purple, and then green is one. The mashed potatoes, I just used the Idahoan instant mashed potatoes for four points, and the ranch cauliflower is two. Thursday night, I'm going to do sheet pan kielbasa bowls. Those are six points on all programs. I've made those for a lunch prep before. Those are really, really good. And Friday, I think we're going to do instant pot pot roast, and that's four points on all programs. I have a, actually have a cook with me for that one that I just put out recently, so I'll link that down in the description box below. All the recipes here will be listed down in the description box below. If I don't have a recipe put together for something, then it will be on the meal prep video. But for the most part, these are all down in the description box. And then the weekend, I'm not planning anything because, as you can see, my daughter is coming. My daughter's birthday is Friday, so she's going to be, my gosh, what is she now, 24? Uh, so she's going to be coming Saturday. For my snacks this week, I'm planning on just having those mandarin oranges that I bought. Pudding with Cool Whip for three points. It's two for the pudding and one for the Cool Whip. And then sometimes I also have popcorn. I keep that on there just because sometimes at night I will make some popcorn. And that is three points. And this here is my website, so feel free to check that out. But I'll give you a direct link down below for the meal plans and any of the free printables. So that's my meal plan and grocery haul for the week. So thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all in my next video. I'm Christy, and I'm planning us healthy.